Hey guys, so it's time for another wig tutorial. This one I'm going to go all out and I'm going to show you guys me styling it. Also me doing my makeup for this video and also me installing the wig. So I've actually worked with this company several times and I love West Kiss hair. They have like amazing hair. It holds up to bleach, dyeing, it holds up to everything. And I actually did uh, record this video weeks and weeks and weeks ago so I decided you know while I'm on recovery that I would just go ahead and edit some videos so as you guys see they did send me some silky straight hair and it is in the bundle lengths of 18 18 16 and I do believe the frontal is 14 inches and I did make it on a spandex dome cap so as you guys see I'm just going to take some of my styling mousse here and I'm just going to just put it in the edges and at the part area so that way it can be super straight and smooth and that is what I'm doing right here you guys so as I said it is a really good quality hair I do like them like I said I worked with them so many times I can't even keep count I like the fact that they're so patient but the quality of their hair is like bomb and I've actually purchased hair on my own quite a few times from them just to make wigs so I would highly suggest checking them out they do have a Amazon store and an actual website and I think they also do yep they also do have a store on Aliexpress so I'll leave all of the information below for you guys and anything else that I think would be important for you guys so I'm just going to go ahead and smooth it down and I'm going to take my hot comb and I'm going to smooth down the edges of the hair. You want to let them lay as flat as possible and it's basically up to you if you want to lay them flat as possible. But prior to this I did bleach the frontal and I also pre-tweezed it. Now I'm going to use some of this Boldify which kind of like pumps the hair up. It's supposed to make it bigger or not even bigger but give it more volume. I highly doubt that because I didn't really see any difference in it. Maybe it depends on how you curl it or if you use it wet, but I just thought I would give it a try. It was okay, but you know, I'm just going to go back to just smoothing the edges down um, with my hot comb. Normally, I would do this while I'm wearing it, but being that I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to style this beauty, I'm going to do it off camera, and it makes it a lot easier to just to do it off camera. And if you're wondering where I get my mannequin heads from, I actually do pick them up from the beauty supply store, and they are used, but I'm thinking that I'm just gonna stop buying them from that particular one because they went from ten dollars to twenty dollars like okay I'm um, sorry it's a little bit too much for me now right here is where I'm gonna just take a little bit of the hair out and this hair that I am just parting along and just taking out it's just going to be like my wispy hairs and my sideburn hairs we're not gonna call them baby hairs because I'm not going to gel them down I'm not gonna make them look like baby hairs I'm just gonna make them look like little loose wispy hairs you know so that it has a natural look and so that way you don't see the lace. So I'm just going to use a rat tail cone and do that and behind the hair I'm just going to smooth it down with the flat iron once again. Just to keep it out of my way I'm just going to put a corn roll in it so that it doesn't get caught and trapped up in the rat. And here comes the fun part, the styling. So for this particular video, I'm going to put some big beachy waves in it, and I'm going to use my wave curling or wave crimper. I actually purchased this like six, seven years ago from Walmart, and it does actually work good, but you do not want to put too much hair in it because it will take a little bit longer. So I do have it up to high heat. It's only two temperature controls on it. It's either high or low, or it's either high or low, honey. So you take the choice which one you want to use. But I do like the fact that it gives good waves and it really doesn't take as long as I would think it would take. Um, but yeah, I do like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and crimp it up, girl, crimp it up. This is easier. You can also do this somewhat, somewhat with a curling barrel, somewhat, not really, but this will just give you like the perfect beachy waves and it does actually make the hair really, really full. So this hair curled really well or styled really well with this particular wave crimper. And now I'm going to take my favorite hairspray, which is one of my favorite, which is the Aussie Instant Freeze. I'm just going to spray some of that so that way the waves can hold and I'm just going to continue on. Like I said, you don't want to use too much hair in it because it'll take longer to, you know, wave up. 
In case you're wondering, does it work on kinky hair textures? It actually does. Because I've done a key, I have already done a kinky hair texture wig with this, which I'll show you at a later time. But it does work in all hair textures. And so now we're about to listen to some music, okay? Living my best life, honey. As long as my rent getting paid, I can care less what a bitch say, huh? You in the club every night with no job. Eating good up your food, champagne. I'm just going to repeat the steps on the opposite side. And now that we're done with the sides, I'm just going to go to the front where I'm going to have like my little hump at and I'm just going to basically style that as well you don't want to put the crimps too close to the root because it kind of looks well I mean it's basically your preference you can if you want to but I've noticed that when you put it too close to the root it kind of looks weird or awkward but you know that might just be me but like I said it's up to your preference and the hair just is really smooth it just styles really well it presses really well it's not it doesn't tangle it shed a little bit and that was probably for me pre-tweezing it but i didn't really need a lot of pre-tweezing the hairline was not bad at all on this um frontal so i will give them that they do have some really good quality hair for sure And I just put the clip there so that way it can give us some volume and hold it. Now here's for the fun part. Well, the whole thing is going to be fun. But you know, you got to look cute when you're putting on West Kiss hair. So I thought I would show you guys how I looked prior to the video. You do see my wig right there in the back. She is on standby. Her name is Kissable. Okay. Yes. So I'm just going to use some of my dollar makeup from Shop Miss A. And I'm just going to, you know, hook up my brow area. I just use concealer for my brows and stuff. I use some of the Shop Miss A um, concealer, which is bomb. Okay. And I mix it in with my... Um, I can't remember offhand, but foundation. And I'm just going to give myself a crisp eyebrow look or whatever you want to call it. I haven't really tweezed my eyebrows in a while. I just like them the way they are. I just tweeze the ends and just shape them up. I'm not going to be tweezing the hairs off anymore because I need brows when I don't want to do makeup. And just to set my foundation or concealer, I did use some of the Sasha Buttercup. And I'm going to be using this Laura Mercier bronzer, which I absolutely love. And I'm just going to use it as a transition color because, you know, it's makeup. You could do whatever you can use whatever you know it's all good just use it to your ability hunty use it and I'm just going to just use that as a transition color then I'm also going to be using my shop miss a cream eyeshadow and this color is really pretty I don't know the name of it but y'all know shop miss a is only a dollar hunty it's only a dollar so what better look to go with my expensive looking hair is my inexpensive makeup and West Kiss hair is actually not expensive hair it's good it's it's budget friendly so if you're looking for something that's budget friendly and it's gonna last you'll definitely want to check them out they have loads of reviews and plus like I said I've worked with them a lot of times now my date night eyeshadow palette is also available at shop miss a and this is really not a makeup tutorial this is really a get ready with me because I wanted to show you guys something different I just didn't want to put on a wig and just plop it on I wanted to show you guys how I got ready for this particular video and I thought I would do it with the West Kiss 
hair because you know I'm very familiar with them and I do like the quality of hair so I figured I would get ready with them and I'm just going to use some of that darker brown up in like my crease area that's in this eyeshadow palette which was only six dollars and then I'm going to use my eyeshadow stick which is also a dollar available at shop miss a and this color is like a very kind of like I would say mauve color but over top of that I'm going to also use another one of their eyeshadow sticks which is this one here I really can't remember the name of the color but I do know they're highly pigmented and they're only a dollar so for a dollar make me holler and I'm just going to do the opposite side as well I definitely got to put on some eyeliner so I will be doing that as the next step right now which is elf and this is also at shop miss a for a dollar I'm really not that great with putting wing eyeliner on only because I have hooded lids and one of my lids are more hooded than the other so I'm not really trying to show you no tutorial on how to do wing eyeliner but for my face I'm just going to be using my Mac um I don't know what it is it's not like a um foundation it's more or less like a tinted moisturizer but I do mix it in with my Milani um, foundation because it just gives me a better color blend it just it just blends better with my skin and I love the brush that I'm using which is by real technique so I'm gonna use all of that in this video you know I gotta get cute for the West Kiss hair but I'm gonna stop talking you guys I will put all of the name of the products in the description or in the video okay In case you're wondering why I'm using so many different concealers, it's because some of them look yellow on me, some of them are more moisturizing. So I don't want to use anything that's going to dry me up and make me look chalky. I'm not going to put a lot of the Sasha Buttercup on my face because I don't really do that. It makes me look dried out and dry and patchy, so I don't really put it too much on my face. Just a little contour on my nose with the Laurier, Laurier, um, Laura Mercier bronzer that I also use for my eyelids as well. And I'm just going to dust off that um, Sasha Buttercup um, setting powder. We almost done, but you know I got to get my eyelashes right, especially for the bottom. They kind of got matched with the top, so I'm just going to be using, oh my god, uh, who is this by? Oh, Givenchy. This is the Givenchy mascara, and I really love it because I like the actual brush it works really well for the bottom and just to set my face I'm going to be using my MAC face press powder and I'm also going to be using the Milani one because it just gives me a little bit extra color you know a girl likes to be looking tan okay so we are almost done with this makeup look to go with my fabulous hair, okay? But you know, you gotta shine through, so you definitely wanna use some of the Shop Miss A highlight. Liquid drops, baby. This stuff is like amazing. Um, it's a five pack and it's five dollars because you know, everything is like a dollar, so it's a five pack. So you get five of them, so they're five bucks, like, you know, hello. And you know, all that good stuff. But I do like them. They have some really nice stuff. And I like the liquid highlight. I got a little bit too much. So I got to like kind of dull it down. But on top of that, I'm going to also use the Shop Miss A AOA Loose um, Highlight, which is bomb as well. Those are only a dollar. And girl, they last a long time. They got a nice color selection. Uh-huh. That's the look you do when you put on too much. So then you just go to the nose and you stay away from it. The cheekbone area and you just go somewhere else because the highlight will be a little bit too much like i'm not trying to blind everybody because i do want you to see how nice my west kiss hair looks after this but you know i just wanted to give a basic look like 
I don't really like too many bright colors on my face, like for my eyes. I just like neutral colors. I'm a more or less neutral color girl. You will very rarely see me wearing blues and stuff. But to set my makeup, I had to use my sleigh. So here comes the good part. Oh, well, not yet, but you know, gotta moisten up the lips. And what better way to do it is with some Shop Miss A lip gloss. Along with that, I'm gonna be using their lip pop color, which I love this stuff because it's in a tube and it comes with a brush to put it on with, yes. So of course you definitely want to clean your hairline when you're hooking up your wig. So I'm, that's what I'm doing. I wanna make sure there's no makeup and now it's time to put on this wig. So it fits so nice. I did sew some combs in the back. I forgot to show you guys that, but there are three combs in this unit in the back, only in the back, because I don't put them by my temple anymore, because you know, a girl need her edges. And I'm just gonna take my small curved scissors and cut away at this. Like this hair looks so nice, it's so natural looking. It came out so pretty, like seriously, they have like some really bomb hair on their website. And like I said, it's very affordable. They'll have like giveaways, they'll have like sales going on, promotional things. So make sure you, you know, you definitely wanna check that out when they have all type of things like that. They have like a lot of things going on with them. And I really do like that a lot about, um, you know, West Kiss hair. I've made many wigs by them um, using their hair and they have very good quality. So right here is where I'm just gonna snip a little bit extra of the lace away because you do want it to fit properly. So even the tiniest little bit of lace will make the hugest difference, okay? So keep that in mind, just a tiny little piece of lace that you gotta cut off will make a huge difference in the way your wig lays. So that is what I'm doing right here. I'm just taking my rat tail comb and I'm just going to part it where I want to cut around it because as you see, it's over my ear. So you definitely have to customize it. The lace frontals do come standard. So it's not like you're going to actually be able to wear it straight out of the box. You do need to, you know, customize it. And when you first make a lace frontal, that's one thing I was unaware of. Like, why isn't this thing fitting like the wig? You have to customize it. So just take your time and see what works best for you. And this is the best method that works for me. I just take a little bit at a time and cut it, and I just cut over the ear. That may, it just fits perfectly, it lays perfectly, and I'm not having any issues. And just to cut in my sideburn hairs, I'm going to use my eyebrow trimmer. And just to make my wispy hairs, I'm going to use my eyebrow trimmer as well. You can always get these at a beauty supply store or Walmart. They're, they're just fairly, really, really cheap. And now just to um, kind of like um, style my sideburns, I'm going to use my Dollar Tree Styling Mousse. And this is just for my sideburns right here because I like to have them. Like I need to have sideburns. It's always a must. But to adhere my wig, to hold my wig down, I use Super Hold or Pump It Up Super Hold okay hairspray that's all i use and my wig will stay on for like three to five days depending on how i um you know hook it up at night so i'll definitely put on a scarf and a headband so that way it doesn't slip back but all i do is just blow dry it right where i put the hairspray and i put the hairspray basically on the lace like behind the hairline or behind the baby hairs or behind the wispy hairs as you guys see and i just blow dry it and i just press it down with either a comb or my toothbrush and I'm good and it actually really does hold for days. Now do you see how natural that hairline looks? Like I really didn't have to do a lot of tweezing. I'm telling you guys, they have some good quality hair. I do like it a lot, it's soft. It wasn't bone straight. Um, when I got it, it was of course, but once I washed it, it had like a little wave to it, which is fine. But I like the quality. They have really good lace frontals. It didn't give me any problems with the, the knots lifting. It, the knots lifted really good on it. And it didn't leave like an orange tint. So that's the one thing that I was impressed with. And now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just blow dry the frontal portion or the front portion down. And I'll definitely wipe up the extra or the excess pump it up hairspray that I have um, running down my forehead. But I only use pump it up because I don't like to put the glue in my hair. Um, the glue, it holds like about the same amount of time frame. I'm not really all into that. So here is almost the finished look, girlfriend, okay? Got on my Aaliyah shirt and I'm feeling really good. I think the makeup look goes really well with this hairstyle. I think the crimped waves go really well with this hairstyle. It kind of reminds me of something like 90s, you know what I'm saying? Late 90s, mid 90s, especially with my door knocker earrings on. I'm feeling like, yes, girl, yes. And I wanted to touch up the lace just a little bit, so I did apply some of my makeup. Really wasn't needed, but you know, I did so anyway. 
but yes the hair is very full i cannot remember if i used all the bundles i probably did not know i mean i think i had like a bundle left but look at it this came out so nice they got some bomb ass hair for real girl i'm feeling myself i got on my Aaliyah shirt my green contacts my door knockers i got some waves going in girl if you could only see the rest of my outfit i was looking cute cute with a k so make sure you check out west kiss hair i'll definitely place all of the information below for you guys stay diva and delicious. happy holidays and i'll see you guys soon i will be making new videos soon i'm just trying to recover from my surgery i love you guys and i will see you in a soon to come video make sure you rate comment subscribe and share the video with everybody but yes you see i'm happy hello yes i love you guys bye